Hi there. Welcome. Hey Vanessa. You're not busy today, my love. <laughs> How are you? How is London? Hello everybody, welcome. I'll just wait for a few more to come in before I introduce myself. How's everybody today? Welcome Shannon. I'm slightly early today. I actually wasn't going to scope today, but I thought, hey ho, I am in the middle of a huge cleaning, oops, a huge cleaning frenzy right now. Um, but wanted to share. <laughs> okay, I'll wait for you, my love. Welcome. Hello, Mo. Thanks, darling. David, welcome. Hello. Okay, so if the title resonates with you, if I resonate with you, please do share. My name is Indra, silent-moon.co.uk is me. And I create wonderful flower essences by the light of the moon. Hi, Joel. I'm going to attempt a quick scope today. Hey, Ray. Hey, Joe. Some new names coming up. So this was a, a little post that I put out today after listening to my beloved Eckhart this morning during my yoga session and kind of got to, to, to sort of being in my mind and thinking about our different expressions that we have, um, that we show to the world. Uh, so this is what I came up with. So welcome everybody. Hi, thanks for the hearts. Please do share if this resonates with you. So here we go. So I'm in, actually in the middle of the, of, at the moment of cleaning my house from top to toe. <laughs> so I wasn't going to scope today, but However, I wanted to share this bit with you if you're not on my social media um, bits and bobs. So this is my Facebook page at Silent Moon Imaginarium. Also the same handle on Instagram. OK, so within this noise machine that we call the mind, there is a variety of expressions that come to the forefront each and every day. From the sleepy, nurture and the playful to the confused and the misunderstood. We all have them. We can't always escape them, but this is the forefront of existence, the face that we show the world. More importantly, look to the background, surrender yourself to the silence of each moment that rests within you. This is the reality of being. So I wrote that today with many different faces of mine in this, these lovely pictures that Joel took for me, which are, are just gorgeous. Um, and. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you because in the expressions that we have, and oh, thank you, my love. You know, you're always liking my stuff on Facebook and I am so grateful to you, my love. You, I, you're always forefront there. <laughs> you're a darling. Hi, Meredith. I'm going to turn this around. Looking, looking a bit scruffy today, but who cares? Decided to really clean my space. And I'm upstairs today, everybody, so you'll be really happy to know that I haven't got any backlighting, thanks to Greg telling me off for all my backlighting that I have. Oh, we got my naked woman on the wall there as well. So, um, let me just get a drink. And I forgot my cat, so I'll have to hold the phone today. Yay! <laughs> so, I just wanted to share that with you today because it was it's really important to me. I, I'm, I'm a big follower of, of Eckhart, and I love his work, and... Um, I just wanted to share with you and maybe get some feedback from you what your thoughts are about the forefront and the background of life. And I really love and I really have been sitting with that myself, especially today. I've spent most of my day in silence, um, which is not always possible when you have a family. But I've really decided to step back and meditate through cleaning and staying in the quiet our minds can either be a washing machine or a flowing stream. Oh, beautiful. I love that rhyme. Let's free our mind. Absolutely wonderful. I love that. Um, and it's really nice to get into a space of being aware of your forefront, being aware of what is out there, what is at the front. It was a cool rhyme. I, I love to share that one. And then what is within the silence? Welcome, Teddy. What is within the space of, of quiet and the space of stillness? Um, and I invite you just to allow yourself just to be there and we can all do it. It's not always easy, and but you don't always have to find a place where you have to go to to be quiet. You can always step out and if you need to, or you can do it in the busyness if, you, if you're clever enough. And I speak a lot about really being able to feel the energy bodies and 
not just the body within, but if you find that difficult to feel the energies bodies within you, it's really good to just focus on feeling a part of your body, maybe the hands or the feet, and just feeling how they feel. And just by doing that, connect, not connecting with the actual shape of your your hands and your feet, but just connecting with the energy within you. And by doing that, stepping back, taking breaths, it is a wonderful way to take yourself into the present moment and allow yourself that place of centeredness, especially when you're so overwhelmed with the forefront. So do you all know what I mean by the forefront and the background? Um, if not, please just say, no, I don't. And um, I will help out a bit more. For those of you that have just joined, can't beat a bit of breath. <laughs> Norman, welcome. So if you don't know me, my name is Indra, silent-moon.co.uk is me. I work with the moon cycles and the nature kingdom and nature is my love nature is boom bastic welcome is um is the place that i love to be and is the place that i love to really sit in my background but i'm not doing that today hey there i'm not doing that today i'm doing it through cleaning <laughs> which isn't my favorite job but actually what i really really could relate to today is the fact that being present within the cleaning so Although I'm cleaning the house from top to toe, um, I'm really feeling that sense of cleaning, healing, of being present within that. And I think that is the most important thing to do is to feel present within whatever you're doing at that moment in time. Is indicated by the, my world distraction. And when I got, I missed the MB. Oh, I missed the MB. Stuck. Um, but I wish I could see that again because that, that was a lot of effort that you put to write all that so I missed the end bit my love so I just want to leave that with you I don't want to scope for a long time today I've got a lot to do I just wanted to share that with you when I get stuck in that when I when I get stuck in that what do you get stuck in Meredith Laurie my love welcome so this kind of relates to global meditation stuck at oh stuck at sleep <laughs> so this relates to global meditation as well so global meditation is a wonderful wonderful weekend that will be um happening on the 10th to the 12th of june um you can sign up at globalmeditation.com somebody who cares to write it that would be wonderful i love what you're saying but i feel we come from different ideas oh absolutely and we do because if we didn't then wouldn't it be a really boring world um so thank you for saying that i'm i'm very open to that and thank you because it's so true and i think the world would be boring if we didn't come from different ideas and thank you for for saying that very respectfully um that was a, that was a nice thing to say and i i love to share different ideas so it's wonderful because like i say it would be boring if we didn't it would be <laughs> it would be very boring absolutely so yeah global meditation scope uh global meditation scope.com is something that's happening between the 10th and the 12th it's hard to do on this medium yeah uh, um it's it's i mean we have to do it on our own we have to step into it on our own we can get some we can get some support but we have to we have to be with it ourselves yeah yes it does yes it does i mean i come from a a christian background so you know i i do i am aware of it where am i from i live in harrogate in north yorkshire in the uk not fully from there though well not from here no i just landed here <laughs> So if you're not a meditator, but you would like to meditate and you haven't tried it and you um, want the opportunity, then on the 10th of the 12th by a periscope, um, there will be over 150 people doing wonderful creative meditations constantly. Well, thank you. Um, and I will be um, performing my meditation on the 10th at 2.30 p.m. from somewhere in the world, well, somewhere in the UK. Um, and yes thank you and that will go on for an hour and i'm because i'm a yoga teacher and i'm spending time with god absolutely absolutely and i i do believe in god and and um, i do believe in creation and and i think it all boils down to being in the same place i think there's that there's that what's the um the saying about all roads lead to one you know we all may go down different roads but we all get to the same place in the end um so yeah amen i use amen a lot maybe because um i used it a lot in my childhood <laughs> all roads lead to one so it's lovely to share um 
yeah so my yoga nidra will be at 2 30 on the 10th at my that's my usual scope time so i i usually try to scope at 2 30 certainly between 2 30 and 3 so i'll be doing one full hour of yoga nidra um and i'll be I'll be doing, thank you Joel, I'll be working with the practice that I do with my addiction people. So I work a lot with addiction and I teach um, and support people with um, addictions, whether it's alcohol, eating disorders, thank you Shannon, or self-harming and all that stuff that goes on in the world. Um, I will be basically doing uh, a session that I like I do with the, those wonderful people so I want to share that with you oh you work with addiction too great oh gosh wonderful so yeah I want to share that work with you because obviously a lot of you that follow me come from the other side of the world which is always wonderful but you don't always know what I do on a daily basis other than silent moon so I'm using that time to share it with you and, and share a full hour session with you so um that felt like good for my heart and hopefully good for you too. Wendy, hello my love. I'm just about to finish, but it'd be really good if you could watch the replay because I think you would resonate resonate with it. I am a reformed, I'll, oh, absolutely. Well, I am also, um, I had a, a, an eating disorder, so it's, um, again, a similar thing. So um, yes, I work with a lot of alcoholics and that's lovely to know. Thank you for sharing. You should get back to clinic. Well, I'm going to go because I'm going to continue my cleaning day. So I've got one more room to do. So if you don't follow me, please give me a share and please give me some love and some hearts and do follow. And um, every day I scope around 2.30 p.m. And hope, hopefully um, I can give you a little oomph every day. <laughs> and I just love people to share as well. So please do come along. And I will try. Thanks. <laughs> thank you. And thank you. Was it Brian? Is it Brian? I thought Joel that Joel put your name up. Um, so I've got so I know your name. I don't know everybody's name. See you. <laughs> Can't be a little Indra umph. I try to. It's Brian from Northern Ireland. Lovely. Oh, you'll have a lovely accent then. <laughs> thank you for joining. So I'll see you everybody tomorrow at 2.30. To, oh, and tomorrow is a Perry train, tomorrow night. Um, I think I'm starting it off at 7.15. And it's on. It's to do with Global med Meditation Scope. And tomorrow's Perry train is on the breath. So I will actually be doing a 10-minute, five-minute, um, bye-bye, my love. It's a five-minute introduction. And then I'm going to do a 10-minute um, mini breathing session for you tomorrow night at 7 15 that's uk time so sending you lots of love and have a wonderful lazy sunday love you loads bye